All new at 5, work is underway to slow traffic in the city's Glen Hazel neighborhood where a six-year-old boy was hit and killed by a vehicle while riding his bike. Neighbors there are telling Shelley Bortz they're elated to finally see the city taking action to keep their children safe. Shelley. Oh, well, that's right. This is the intersection right here where six year old Jamel Austin was riding his bicycle when he was struck and killed last July. Now, police tell us the driver of the vehicle did not stop at this stop sign right here, and they were on the phone. But long before this tragedy ever happened, folks in this area tell me they made impassioned pleas to the city of Pittsburgh to put in traffic calming measures along this road right here. It's just a shame that the child had to lose his life in order to do this. People who live on Johnston Avenue in Glen Hazel know all too well how dangerous this road is. For years, they say, they've pleaded with the city of Pittsburgh to do something to slow the traffic. People come flying up and down this street. It's not just the people that live in this neighborhood. It's traffic just coming through the neighborhood because we can shortcut to get down to the waterfront. Not only do cars speed, Griffin says, drivers don't adhere to the stop sign at any of the intersections. Data collected last year by the city of Pittsburgh show that more than 75% of the cars went over the posted speed limit of 25 miles per hour, with the majority going 35 miles per hour or higher. Last July, a crash claimed the life of six-year-old Jamal Austin, who was riding his bike here on Johnston Avenue. Police say the driver did not stop at the stop sign and was on the phone at the time. We just all need to look out for each other's safety, regardless if we're driving or not. You just got to pay attention to your whereabouts when children are around. Today, crews were out with their heavy machinery beginning the calming project, which includes six speed tables and one raised crosswalk on Johnston Avenue. While it's too late for the family of Jamal Austin, neighbors here say they don't want it to happen again. Nobody else don't need to be burying their babies or anybody else for that matter. Again, construction here on Johnston Avenue started today and is expected to last for five days, starting at 7 a.m. till 5 in the evening. Reporting live in Glen Hazel, Shelley Boards, KDKA TV News.